Okay, some people have argued about the statistics. Uh, notably, it's not statisticians. Who, what did we do? We went to four different statisticians. One works uh, in, in government and doing population projections. Uh, you know, different statisticians. So what did they tell us? Everyone said, this is the Jesus family tomb, a million to one, two and a half million to one in favor of the tomb. And it's very easy to say, imagine, you know, a football stadium, because you could fill all of Jerusalem into a football stadium during the entire pe period of 100 years or 90 years of ossuary use. And, you know, and you'd say, you know, everybody who's called Jesus, please stand up. Right? So all the women wouldn't, you know, all, you know, about, you know so out of the 100,000, let's say 50,000 males are left, you say Jesus, let's say 5,000 stand up. It's actually only 4%. 4% of the total population. If you look at ossuaries, it's 9%, but 4% if you use Talilan and the entire name base. But it doesn't matter. Let's say it's 10%, so 5,000 sit up. Jesus, okay. And then you say, would everybody who's not, doesn't that, anybody who's still ha who has a father named Joseph continue to stand up, everybody else sit down. Well, you suddenly left with 500, 400, 300. And you say, anybody who has a brother named, you know, a mother named Maria, continue to stand up. Everybody, you know, you're left with five, ten. And if you have a brother named Josie, you keep standing up, but everybody else sit down, and you're left with one. But what we did, because we wanted to, we knew we would be scrutinized, so we said, no, no, let's not talk to statisticians. Let's talk to somebody who teaches us stuff. So we went to Professor Andre Feuerberger in the Department of Mathematics at the University of Toronto, who teaches statistics and was an expert on probability, and we asked him, and he had the most conservative numbers, and that's what we went with, 600 to 1 in favor of the tomb. Now, did he do something wrong with the math? Let other people weigh in, statisticians who know what they're talking about. But to have archaeologists repeat ad nauseum, it's common names, all it shows that they don't know statistics. Right? That's all it shows. Because it may be, it's a unique cluster. Hello, it's unique. There's not another one that's ever been found like it. So why repeat this mantra of its common names? Show me one more tomb that has a Jesus, son of Joseph, and so on. Show it to me. You won't find it. So let's, let's, let's really talk statistics. Let's really talk history. And let's stop repeating the same empty uh, mantra.